Hi, everybody. Jeff Hemmelt from SFMSports.net. After the Stevenson men fight to a hard nil-nil draw against number one Messiah at Mustang Stadium here with John Grant, who played a great deal of the game the whole entire game. John, just tell me, first of all, how drained are you? Because I'm pretty drained, but I know you guys got to be just losing it right now. How, how exciting yeah. was that to go through? Oh, man, that was fun. I mean, we're all cramping, but we're all injured. We're all hurt, but... <laughs> Got the day off tomorrow, everybody was getting kicked in the face, you know, <laughs> putting their bodies on the line. So, couldn't have played any harder, couldn't have asked for anything else. You knew it was going to be uh, an offensive uh, battalion from oh, Messiah yeah. there. It was just five shots in that first half. You guys held yep. them pretty well. And then the second half, they picked up a little more, but the defense held strong. Your goalkeeper, Ryan, made some good saves at the crucial time yeah. there. And uh, just an all-out great effort by everybody today. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I'll talk about in the overtime, you almost had the game winner there towards the uh, early part of yeah. the uh, first overtime. You curled one just past the top right corner. What were your feelings there? Did you think you had one in there? It was just inches away. I was hoping, but as, I mean, as soon as I hit it, I would turn around and ran back. So I figured if I missed, got to get back on defense. So I was hoping it went in, but... Right. I wasn't even really watching. I was just turning around trying to get back. You guys kept battling, and Yanni had a great opportunity in that second overtime with yeah. a header that just whizzed past the far post. You guys must have been on edge on that bench. I oh, mean, it, either way, it could have gone in for you guys in that overtime. Yeah, yeah, but just got right away from the goal. He was frozen, but uh, it didn't drop for us. But, I mean, <sighs> Still out of breath, huh? Still out of breath. <laughs> Four games to go in this season. You guys are now 9-5-2, and two, but 0-2-2 oh, two two in the conference. Uh, how much motivation will this result give you guys to close out the final four games? So much motivation. I mean, Messiah, nobody in our conference has thought they were even close to Messiah. So, I mean, if we can tie them, who can't we beat? Great outlook for you guys. And, John, again, thanks for the time. I know you gave it. You're all out there. To get some rest tomorrow, and we'll see you back here next we'll week. Do. Thank you. Thanks, John. And that will bring in Coach Pleviak here after his side put in a great effort here to hold Messiah scoreless, the number one team in Division Three, Coach, what can I say? I mean, just a valiant effort from all defense, midfield, forward, goalkeeper. Everybody played their part today, it seemed like. I need a shower. <laughs> I, I never worked this hard in my life on the sideline. It was a human night. Yeah. And uh, what are you going to say about these kids? They are unbelievable. You know, uh, we were in a little bit of a slump. And, you know, that all takes a village. So uh, I went to Coach Adams, and uh, he went with us to Europe. So I was picking his brain a little bit earlier in the week about how we've been slow starting. And so he gave me some good advice. And then uh, we, we, I've seen him play live twice, and I've seen him play a lot on film. So we came up with a game plan. Uh, the coaches put it together yesterday. Uh, assistant Coach Dustin put it in for us. And uh, the kids listened. They executed it. They did it to perfection. Um, we got a surprise before the game today. Dr. Manning came in the locker room <laughs> and uh, talked talked about believe and, and believe in yourself and your teammates and how to work yourself out of the slump and just have some fun. And the man's a prophet because uh, <laughs> he couldn't have picked a better game in the time. And the kids bought into our plan. And, uh, you know, that's a point nobody else is going to get. Right. And, uh, and it wasn't, you know, the, the shots were certainly uneven, but there were not very many dangerous shots. Right. I mean, we shut them down, I thought. They had a couple chances, but so did we. And uh, I thought Yanni's was going in and over time. <laughs> and uh, can you tell I'm a little excited? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit, yeah. Uh, um, like I said, the first half defensive effort was great. Only five shots allowed. And throughout the game, the defense just held strong. Like you said, you held them to some outside shots for the majority of the time. Not a lot of good quality chances inside. But when it counted, your goalkeeper, Ryan Callanan, and the defense held up strong. Yeah, we, we needed to be disciplined. We were. Um, they didn't have a corner kick in the first half. I, I, I don't know how many years you got to go back from a side <laughs> and not to have a corner kick. And the five shots, none of them were really dangerous. Right. And and so in the second half, they had to win at their back. We knew it was going to be a little tough. He came up big. And we said before the game that we had to stay disciplined, organized, and we had to have a big game for Ryan. And he, he came up huge. But everyone did. Every right. person I put in that game had a, had one of his best nights since he's been here. So it was a total team effort. And, uh, you know, that's like I said, that, uh, that puts us back in it and yep. uh, gives the guys a little bit of uh, – of, um, confidence going into the last four <laughs> as the set keeps falling around me uh, just one more question for you uh four games left in the conference i asked john obviously this can be great motivation for the team what's the thought process going forward for these last couple weeks um day off tomorrow actually my daughter's getting surgery so i won't be here and i told them just to be cool tonight have a little fun they deserve it but uh we'll get back to work thursday we'll use this as a a learning tool that if we play with this intensity and we get each other's back there's no way we can't get back into this playoff picture maybe see these guys again where they're already tearing down the wall behind me, yeah, Coach. Yeah, so yeah. a great result for you guys. And, again, thanks for joining us. Great right. game today. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was great. Stevenson tying number one Messiah here in Mustang Stadium. Nothing, nothing here in Owens Mills.